Hello Kulin Beach Christian College. Welcome to the principal's message. This message is the week two message. We got week one in the bag. All done and dusted. Swimming carnival for the primary school was awesome. And this week we're looking forward to the secondary school swimming carnival. But before I get carried away with the message too much, I want to just pause and consider last week. We celebrated Australia Day. And you know, as we do Australia Day, I love Australia. It's my adopted country. I've chosen to live here and my family are thriving and loving living in Australia. And we live in Australia together with lots of people. And I especially want to acknowledge the Gubba Gubbi people, the indigenous people here on the Sunshine Coast who for generations have lived here and we just so appreciate living in peace and harmony with all indigenous people, Torres Strait Islander people and thank you for sharing this land with us. It is really precious and beautiful to be able to live here. You know, it's probably something that matches really well at the moment as a theme with um, Coolum Beach Christian College. We talk about heart and brain matters well, right now, our heart matter is love. Our brain matter is cooperation. How good is that? We want to live in peace and harmony with everybody, including our indigenous brothers and sisters. And we want to teach our children how to have the love of Christ. Jesus Christ died on the cross for all mankind. Coolum Beach Christian College heart matter, love. Out of that flows the brain matter, cooperation. How good is it for us as people to cooperate, live together, work together, peace and harmony, reconciliation, such important concepts that we're trying to teach the children every day in our school. And we pray that we do that well and you as parents and the community come together and partner with us. Thank you for that. We also want to thank you for cooperation in the car park. It is a challenge and parking, traffic flows around the college, especially 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes in the afternoon, we know they're difficult. I'm out there trying to see what we can do, we're trying to work on that as a team, see if there's improvements we can make and so in the meantime be patient, cooperate with each other and we'll see what we can do to make improvements in that place. I know it's in phase one of the building project to do some roadworks and so by next year it'll be solved but I want to see what can we do right now. So more news will be coming out about that. We do want to ask little Joey's prep year ones if they can use the top car park here where the tar road is at the main entrance that would be awesome and if everybody else can leave that area where the buses and little Joey's is and go down to the lower car park where the church is. That church loop, if we can use that as the main point of picking up kids, dropping off kids, that will really help us to manage the traffic and to make things smoother for you. A quick clarification, school bags. They are looking awesome. I'm getting lots of positive reports from parents and kids loving the bags. Um, they are not compulsory for secondary. We're really encouraging them for the primary school. We want the primary school kids to be buying them, but secondary school kids just have a smart bag that looks after your laptop and your textbooks well, and you don't have to have the school bag. More news around the college. We very unfortunately had a late um, last minute staffing change. Uh, Miss Wendy Bir Birmingham has um, left us and resigned, and um, that's impacting secondary art. We're having a teacher change there. I'm really grateful that we've got um, already recruited um, Miss Haley McEwen. She's stepping straight into that senior space, grade 11 and 12 um, subjects are secure and looked after. And we have some relief teachers in some of the other um, English classes temporarily as we're about to establish a, a new teacher to replace Miss Birmingham. Um, but that's sad news for us and know that we're working actively. We've got a plan in place and um, it's about to be resolved um, in a permanent way. So that's most of the news for this week from me. May the Lord bless you this week 
and I look forward to seeing you around the college or maybe at the secondary swimming carnival. God bless you.